Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about empties. Products I'm going to be talking about, I have shared before. That just goes to show you that I really do stand by them. There are probably a few other items I've not spoken about on my channel. So just so you understand, when I do an empties video, it's what I used up that month, but it's taken me months to actually use them up, if that makes sense. So it's not like just once a month that all these products I've used because that would just be way too many products. So let's get started. How about we start with skincare? So I have a few that I've already spoken about and I won't go on and on about them. One of the items, and of course the lighting is going to change because of the clouds, there we go. So one of the items is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. You know that I've spoken about this ad nauseum probably at this point, but I use a double cleansing routine in my skincare. I just like the way that it breaks down the makeup prior to me actually getting in and really cleansing my skin. This is a great product. There are many out there. Clinique has the Take the Day Off. That one's really good, which is what I'm currently using. Um, I got a sample size of it and I said, oh, let me just use it. So I've been using that, but this is my old standby. Will always use it. So it's not what I'm currently using, but it is one that I will repurchase time and time again. So there's that. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm just going to go through these pretty rapidly. Another product that I have gone through is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I'm on my, probably my third or fourth tub of this. This moisturizer really gets in and really hydrates my skin. Um, I do have normal, a little bit dry skin, but for the most part, I just have normal skin. I do believe for dry skin folks out there, I think it would be a, a really good product as well. It, I feel as if it gives me just enough moisture, but doesn't leave my skin feeling oily. It just really hydrates. It's a really, really great product. It's really intense hydration, just like the jar says. So I am on my next tub of this. And I, I do want to say that I have other moisturizers that I do use in the nighttime. Sometimes I will use this at night. Sometimes I just use it in the morning and at night I have another one that I use. I'm not done with that yet, but when I am, I'll share my thoughts on it. But I go back and forth. I use this morning and night. So that's one of the moisturizers. Here we have the Elta MD sunscreen. Clearly summer, we're just about on the other side of that, but that doesn't stop me from continuously purchasing this or the Super Goop Glow Screen. I really like the both of them and I go back and forth depending on kind of the look I'm going for today. I do have this, which is a tinted one. You can actually see probably on the bottle how it has um, a, a tint, but it doesn't, it's not overbearing and doesn't really change your your look on your face. It just gives a nice clean tint to your face, which I love, but more importantly, it offers the perfect amount of sunscreen protection. Don't stop using your sunscreen, people. Just because summer is almost over, use it all year round. Very important, the most important product that you'll put on your face ever. Going along with the sun, here I have the Saint Tropez facial spray that I put on every day. And then this is the mousse, which I don't sell tan every day, obviously, but every few days I put this on. So easy, take your mitt. I did do a video on my self tanning, which I've changed up a little bit, but not too much from the video that I actually did. So these are two great products. There are so many self tanning products out there that I have tried, but these I just continuously go back to. I know how they work on my skin and the results that I get from it. So really love these two products and we'll continue with that throughout the winter time. That's the hope anyway. Let's see, randomly I finished up my bedhead, apologies for the name, but Dumb Blonde conditioner for chemically treated hair and that would be me. I've been using this shampoo and conditioner for a long time. It's what I use most days that I'm actually washing my hair. I don't wash my hair every day, but when I do, this is what I use. And when I want to do the once a week, really like deep conditioner, you know, I'm a try and true of the Briogeo 
Don't Despair Repair hair treatment, and I also use the Olaplex. So between those two, that's what I'll use like once a week if I really feel like my hair needs it, which generally I just like to do it. It's a maintenance for me, especially the fact that my hair is so bleached that it adds both of those products. I think I did share the Briogeo in an empties before. I'm still working through the Olaplex. I haven't finished that quite yet, but like I said, those are the two that I use once a week this i use every every time i wash my hair every so often i know it's really good to get in and change your shampoo and conditioner and it's not like i don't but like i said a this is an empties video this is what i've emptied i go through the conditioner faster than i do the shampoo anybody with me on that i can't imagine i'm the only one but anyway i finished that up but i i do try to every so often incorporate some other shampoo and conditioners depending on how i feel my hair the needs of it and now with us going into fall i'll probably look to to try something else just to make sure that you know i'm constantly getting that hydration in my hair but i really have enjoyed this and it's done really great for for my hair so really love that keeping on hair the igk good behavior i just spray this in my hair and i it's you know it's a smoothing spray and i guess you can say that it does offer that because this is not a flat ironed hair i washed my hair this morning and put some of the way leave-in conditioner in then i spray this and then i use the oil on my ends and this is the results that i get my hair can tend to get frizzy and a little bit wavy with the humidity but i've done really really well with those three products that's really basically what i put in in my hair so every so often i'll test something else out but those are the ones that are my go-to guess we'll go back to skincare you know i love the summer fridays uh jet lag mask I finished this up a couple of months ago, maybe about two months ago or so, and I was having a hard time finding it, only to hear that they actually repackaged and reformulated. I think it was more of a repackaging as opposed to a reformulation, so that's what I think that they were trying to do. This is a really hard packaging, and I think they put it more into like a tube, like more of a plastic tubing to make it a little bit easier because the packaging was a little tough, but the product is amazing. It's the last thing I use on my face before I go to sleep and I wake up and my skin is so baby soft. It is delightful. I love it. I don't want to be without it. And I have been for a couple of months. I have not repurchased it in the new packaging. So that is on my list to buy because I just feel like my skin feels so so good which leads me into this tart maracuja oil so when i first got it i was having a hard time i didn't really know what to do with it and i was reading up on it and trying to figure it all out this is probably my third bottle of this i finally figured out not finally but i figured out what to do with it you know a few bottles ago and i really really like it i haven't had it since i used this up and i finally just bought a, a new bottle last week with this you can put it in your moisturizer you can add it to mainly like your foundation which is what i did today and i don't know if you can really see i wish there was a before and after that i took of how my skin was before I started incorporating this back in. During the summer, it just never felt, it wasn't so much dry that my makeup wasn't going on right, but I felt as if it was, there was no glow to it. I, I think that's what I felt like I was missing. And I couldn't figure it out and I was in Ulta last week and I just said, I just need to feel like there's a little bit of life. It was looking so dull. And anyway, I purchased it. The first day I put it on, I mixed it in with my moisturizer. And it did, it added a really nice glow to my skin. It's not oily, it just felt like my skin just almost sucked it up. Today, however, I did mix it in. I just took one drop and I put it in with my foundation. And I really, really like the way it has made my skin look and the application of my foundation it just went on 
really really nice just a side note for this i do generally use a wet beauty blender i go back and forth like with a brush and a beauty blender you don't want to use a beauty blender when you're using this mixed in with your foundation because oil and water don't mix so just keep that in mind i use the brush and i think it came out really really nice it just gave it enough where it's not like oily that I'm patting it all day long, it just gave it a little bit of life and I'm so happy to have it back in. So really, really like this. I mean, there are so many facial oils out there. This is the Ulla Hendrickson Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. And it says just to put like one or two pumps between your hands and massage gently in circular motions onto like, your face, your neck, and your decolletage. I do want to say that you can also use this, any oils, at the end of like your skincare routine as well and just leave it, which I have been doing at night after I do my skincare. I'll put this on now that I have it back in and kind of like my last step because I don't have the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. I really enjoyed this product. Ola Hendrickson is not in Ulta, it is in Sephora. So I was just in Ulta and I picked that up. But I really did enjoy this. It was just more convenient why I didn't pick this back up. Either one, any facial oil will work. Those are just the two that I've tried. And then as you know, I've had the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. Really, really enjoyed this. Vitamin C, as we know, is really good, A, for our body, but it's also really good for our skin. This I would repurchase. I'm currently using something else that I'm not really a fan of, and I won't repurchase that. I'll either go back to this, or as you know, I really like the uh, Drunk Elephant C Firma Hydra Serum. I forgot the exact name of it, but I've mentioned it before. I really like the Drunk Elephant one as well. I'll be repurchasing one of these again um, after I'm finished with what I'm currently using. I tried this e.l.f. Keep Your Balance toner. And it does say that it's with hyaluronic acid, aloe, and witch hazel. I really enjoyed using this. I just put it on a cotton pad and just applied it to my face and neck. And toner is always good after you cleanse your face just to kind of bring everything back into a nice balance before you go on and, and put your moisturizers on and any other serum. So I did enjoy it. I think it did have a little bit of a real perfumey scent to it it does so if that's offensive to you you may not want to pick that up but as far as the product it worked fine but the one that i probably really really like is the clinique clarifying lotion number two i think the two really is for the um the steps but this was a big jar and i had it for a long long time but it's a great it says it's a twice a day exfoliator and I did, I, I tried to use it when I remembered to, cause I didn't keep it out in my typical like everyday skincare makeup um, because of the, it's so big. So sometimes I would forget about it, but then when I would go back and use it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like why am I not paying more attention to this? So I will repurchase this because I do feel that my skin does better when I work with the toner and incorporate that in my skincare. So this one I wouldn't repurchase the one from e.l.f. just because the scent was so strong, but the Clinique one, perfect. Let's move on to some makeup products that I've used up. Here I have the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit, which as you can see is, I can't really get any more out of that. I really did enjoy this bronzer, but I used it more as a contour as opposed to an actual bronzer. It was a little bit more on the lighter shade for me, but it just did chisel my cheek area and I, I did swipe it across my forehead and such, but for the most part, I really used it more as a contour as opposed to a true bronzer, but I really enjoyed that and I would repurchase it again this uh from benefit is the hula quickie contour stick which i'm just about done with it i really need to be because it keeps falling out and it gets all over everything and it's a whole thing so but i did enjoy this very easy swipe it here everywhere that you would bronze your skin and contour rather i think this is just a one shade 
works really well. I used it probably all summer interchangeably with the Fenty. Really like the both of them. As far as the, the cream products versus the powder products, I've gone back and forth with both sides. I really enjoy the finish on, on a cream product and a powder product. A lot of times when I'm using a cream product, I will swipe over a powder product, like a powder bronzer or a powder blush over the cream product, just to kind of hold it in place a little bit more. But those are the two cream uh, bronzers and contours rather that I've been using and really liking and the light keeps going in and out and I'm sorry. Another product here that I've spoken about is the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzer. This product I actually mix in with my foundations especially if it, they're on a little bit of a lighter shade. For the summer I certainly was you know more tan so I got my use out of this I'm almost done with um, another one of these which will go and probably be empty by the end of this week next week or so but it's just like one to two drops in your foundation mix it in and then just apply your foundation as is you can use this with your moisturizer you can mix it in and I've heard that you can also just put it on your face just for a, a little bit of a natural glow um, to your skin. So really there's a lot of different ways in which to use it. I use it with my foundation and I love it. And the foundations I've been using up that I've gone through are the Sephora Best Skin Ever. One is in 23Y, the other is in 25N. I've mixed them together. I've used them separate. They are a fantastic foundation. I love it. It's what I have on today. Now I will say I did add some of the DeBronzi in there and I also used a drop of the uh, Tarte Maracuja oil in there as well. And this is the look I got, the finish from it. It's just a really nice natural finish foundation that looks skin-like. You can build it up, but you don't need to. I mean, it just gives that almost like glass look to your skin. And you know, with the oil and the DeBronzi in there, cause these were a little bit, the shades were a little off for me because I couldn't really try them on in the store when I purchased them. I think I just ordered them online and, and just grabbed what I thought would work. So building them up with the, the DeBronzi was uh, kind of what worked for me. But I'll tell you, for the price point, I think they're $20 for the bottle and they've lasted me for a couple of months. Really, really enjoyed these and would repurchase and hopefully I can get like a better shade match to my skin the next time I repurchase. They really are good products, try them out. And lastly, although I'm not completely empty on this, I will be in the next week or so. I just wanted to add it and it is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. And it's in the shade Turks and Caicos, and it was the perfect peachy coral with a slight hint of pink to it. Really slight pink, but the peach and the coral, and it's what I wore all summer. And I just think that it is absolutely gorgeous. For the price point, you can't go wrong. It's a cream product, so if you like a cream blush, you'll really love it. I just went in. I applied it with a brush, and then I would go around the edges like with a beauty blender just to tear out the lines, just to make it a little bit more seamless. But like the saying power was really good. Did I have to sometimes touch it up throughout the day? Yes, but I also think that that was before I got my oil back in, you know, again with this product, I keep talking about it, but uh, there were some days where I just didn't think my skin was as hydrated. So at those points, I would add a little bit more after I applied my makeup and, you know, just going about my business and I'd come back and I would add more and then it was like perfect. Um, it could be also that I maybe have sheared it out a little too much with the beauty blender when I was trying to, even out the lines and stuff. But nonetheless, really great product, like I said, for the price point. If you're interested in just dabbling in cream blushes or if you actually um, like cream blushes, it's a really good product. Moving on, now that we're transitioning into fall, I picked up the e.l.f. Putty Blush and this is in Bali. And that's what I have on today, so you can tell me what your thoughts are. I think it came out really nice. It just a nice 
fall transition color I think um, that's what I'll be wearing for the fall well that's all I have in my empties for the past few months I do have some things that I've used in the kitchen you know apple cider vinegar and that kind of thing I didn't really include that in in this empties video just because I felt like it was getting a little long and you know I had a lot of products to run through but please let me know if you like this kind of video. If you want me to continue with doing these, I don't know if monthly really makes sense for me because I don't go through products that quickly, but you know, every couple of months, let me know what products you use, which you think you may want to try based on this video. Please comment down below what you'd like to see in coming videos. Coming up on my channel, you can expect to see a lot of full clothing hauls just as we transition to this beautiful, wonderful time of year love fall so please hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video bye